In this video, I would love to show you how you can do some really extra light packing. So instead of using like this really big backpack, this is the one that I normally use. And there is a lot of stuff that you can fit in here. We are going to see if it fits in this little bag. This is just a bag that you can bring like with you as hand luggage. And it is a little bit heavy because I did the challenge and yes, it worked. And before I forget to tell you, there's a really cool giveaway I arranged at the end of this video. So definitely watch it till the last minute. The first thing I always pack is clothing. And I'm really tempted to bring like a lot because with everything I see, I think like, oh, this might be so cute on that and that location but really try to work against that instinct. Just bring what you really, really, really need if you want to do some extra light traveling. So what I bring is three really basic t-shirts that just go with everything. Depending on the trip I do, I bring my hiking pants and I always bring some normal pants. I bring one bra, three times underwear, two times socks, and one little cute dress because i think you always need like a really cute dress when you're traveling preferably one with flowers <laughs> okay no that's maybe just me but bring one dress of course a sweater always comes in handy so i take this one with flowers i always bring my own towel and this is a traveling towel that you can use uh, really well because it dries like pretty fast and it's really lightweight. A bikini might come in handy and I like this one because it can double up as a bra. Then I also bring some extra things like something against the rain, these like trousers and some extra underwear, an extra bra, but those are all the things that I will be wearing when I am in the airplane. So they are on my body and technically they are not in my luggage but I have them with me so I have like two pairs of bras an extra pair of socks an extra pair of like underwear it's a nice way of like bringing it without putting it in your luggage I also bring an extra little bag that I can use for just daily use if I want to go into a city or stuff like that and I don't want to bring my entire big bag when we're talking about makeup normally I have like this bag as you can hear it's like full of stuff but when I'm traveling really really light I only bring like the real essentials which in my case I would consider to be just a face powder and a brush some mascara little eyebrow set and that's it mostly when I go on holiday I go to countries where the sun is shining so I get like this really uh, cool glow over my face and this basic makeup set is like enough and for carrying my makeup I've got this really nice little bag it came with my towel so the little travel towel and it's a really good way and really light way to transfer it then when it comes to other products like hair products face products all that kind of stuff I am tempted to bring all of this and I actually do need all of this but what I don't need is like the big packages that everything comes in I mean look at the sun cream over there like it's way too big so what I do is I exchange all the big packages for little packages I have bought like some of them but I always get some for free like for example this one um, there came some cream like day cream came in this one I used it and now I put my normal day cream in here when I'm traveling because like otherwise I have to bring like this big of a jar and it's like in weight and in size it's much better to use this one so when I've exchanged all the big bottles for the small bottles, I put everything again in this little um, bag, another bag that I got with another traveling towel. As you can see, it fits really well, it's lightweight, and this way I can bring all of my stuff really easily. The same goes for your perfume. Like you can bring a big bottle or you can just ask in your local store if they have these little testers. And some of them are non-refillable, but I also have one that you can, I think this one too, like you can unscrew it and then you can put your like favorite fragrance in there. For me, it would be perfect on any kind of travel or I bring two of them. When it comes to shoes, I always like to bring two pair, one open pair and one closed pair. So I always bring like my hiking shoes, my more kind of gym shoes, and I bring these open shoes. 
And as I said with your clothing, it also goes for your shoes. Wear the heaviest ones on your body and put the lighter ones into your luggage. I bring a little water bottle many times when you're hiking or when you're doing a city trip. It's always nice to have your own water with you and it's much better for the environment to bring your own bottle than to use plastic bottles all the time. I have to bring my earplugs because I demolished my ears. So actually I have tinnitus, so I hear this peep all the time and I'm really sensitive to loud noises. So actually being in an airplane is kind of a torture for me because there is a lot of sound from the engines. So I always have to bring my normal earplugs. They are like made to perfectly fit my ears. I have these airplane earplugs and I bring this one, I call him Peltor, which is blocking more noise than the little earplugs do. And this thing actually is kind of heavy compared to everything else I bring, but I just really need it for my ears. So I think everyone has this one thing that they just need to bring which is not really that convenient or lightweight, but you just have to. And there is a little bit of wiggle room for that. So for me, it's like this one. Then I've got my hairbrush. It's really small, really convenient, really good for on the road. Of course, I cannot leave without my sunglasses. And because they are a little bit expensive, I bring a little case to protect them whenever I'm not wearing them. I also take all the medication that I need, but I just put it in one package instead of in all the packages that it came with. Really do notice that you bring all of the information about the medicines with you so leave the packages behind but like the little notes in there telling you what you can and cannot do with your medication you should bring those along with you because that's important information that you want to have then you have to bring of course your passport maybe you printed your boarding cards stuff like that you need some cards for your money and i always bring that along in a little bag uh, this one is really convenient you can just wrap it around your waist and you know it's really close to you, close to your tummy, so I have the feeling that it won't get stolen so easily. Then I bring some spray against the mosquitoes, and of course I always bring my phone, and with a phone I need the charger. Considering I am also a travel vlogger, of course I need my camera equipment to be there with me. And the good thing is that my uh, cell phone is like good enough, like it makes good shots. But I would love to bring one extra camera with me and I would bring the Sony RX100 Mark IV. In this case, because it's really lightweight, um, it makes good images, uh, you can do really cool slow motions with it. It has a good stabilizer inside there, so I don't need to bring anything extra for that. Yeah, and I need some chargers with it and I would also need like some extra memory cards because actually I could fit my laptop in here also. But if I'm not bringing it, I just like exchange the cards all the time. And the cards are really small, so you really won't notice that you have them with you. If you want to know more about all the equipment that I use, also when I'm not like lightweight traveling, check out the link that's appearing somewhere in the corner up here. And there is like a whole video explaining everything I use and what I think about my equipment. So as you can see, it all fits in this one backpack. It's actually still pretty light considering what all went into it. I don't have any like scale in here or something, but I think you could even take this like as hand luggage only and you would be good to go. And you remember at the beginning of the video, I was talking about a giveaway. Well, the actual giveaway will be this bag. Well, not this bag, this bag is my bag. Um, you have seen it in many videos in the Philippines and in Switzerland. I'm really happy with it. I use it with hiking. I use it like there's a, a laptop department in here. So I use it every day when I go to the office or if I have to work out of the house, I bring like all my equipment in this bag. It's really well protected. It fits like really well on my back. And also what I really like about it is, I hope you can see, like you can close it like this when it's on your back and uh, your back will be um, much less heavy or it will be much easier to carry this way. For me, this is the perfect backpack and I really wanted to do a giveaway like so badly. So I reached out to them and I said like, can I do a giveaway of your backpack? And they said, yeah, sure. So if you want to win this one, please uh, be a subscriber to the channel and leave in the comments down below a little bit about yourself because you see a lot of me 
And what I would like to know is if you would have a backpack like this one, what would you do with it in your own surroundings? I love like really far away countries myself, but there are some trips for me in Europe coming up, which is actually like all just around the corner. And I always realize this is also so beautiful. So if you consider like in your surroundings, would you use it in the city? Would you go hiking with it? Like, just tell me a little bit about your surroundings and what you would do with a beautiful black bag like this one. I will leave all the rules of the competition in the description box below so you can check it out. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was of any help to you. Good luck if you have to pack really lightly because uh, yeah, it is kind of a challenge, but as you can see, it is not impossible. See you next week.